gonna tell me where you went All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot, it's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Aquarius back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. It will not resonate with each and every star, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading doesn't resonate, please check with your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, and your venus. Also the energy or the roles in my readings may be reversed or interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget if this reading does resonate, don't forget to support your girl by clicking like share subscribe and clicking the all option when you click the bell so you can be notified when i upload another reading or when i go live all right let's dive in this is going to be a you versus them reading we're going to dive into the energy between the person between you and the person that you have on your mind all right so let's go ahead and dive into your reading and guys if you want to book a personal reading with me go ahead and check out my website www.goddessofwhispers.com or you can check out the description box below today is the last day for 25 percent off of my readings all right so let's go ahead and dive into your reading what is the energy surrounding the person that aquarius has on their mind how does this person feel about aquarius currently what is the energy of the person that aquarius there we go. All right. So we have the trust card and then we also have the blossom card. So we got two major arcana cards coming through for your person. So this is actually the judgment card paired with the fool card. Why I love this energy, because this is telling me this is someone here who is coming into a decision to take some sort of chance or leap of fate, wanting a fresh start here, trusting their intuition or going in an energy of becoming awakened to some type of final decision here when it comes to your person. It could even mean some lessons being learned here with the person that you have on your mind, like clarity being restored to this individual. And I love that it's two major arcana cards because it's telling me this is a major change or a major shift that has taken place in this person's life all right so let's see what the energy is surrounding you what is the energy of Aquarius what is the energy of Aquarius thank you all right so you have the five of swords Aquarius so this energy is telling me you could even be feeling like you want to give up on this situation because of some sort of manipulation mind games or you just feel like you know what enough's enough at this point in time and you know you're feeling like this person has Pretty much did a number here in this situation with mistrust and maybe using you in some way shape or form here so i feel like aquarius you're standing strong in your strength with this five of swords energy and maybe just not having as much trust for this person as you would like to have in this situation but we're going to dive a little bit deeper and see why these energies are showing up for you in the reading okay yeah see look at this you have zero and then you have two and you have 20 which is two the number two which is about making decisions you know bringing some sort of balance to a situation so let's dive in and see what's going on fives represent some type of mental confliction here so i do feel like aquarius in some way shape or form you're in your head about the situation all right let's see what is the energy here surrounding and we're reading in the upright in this reading okay what is the energy here for Aquarius dealing with the person they have on their mind? What is the energy here of the person Aquarius has on their mind? Let's see. All right. So for your person, they have the five, seven of swords with the queen of cups. They have the four of wands with the king of pentacles. And then they have the two of swords with the world card the bottom of the deck for your person is the page of cups which is being paired with their overall energy let's see what your energy is in the situation we're going to use the same deck all right we got some energies just wanting to come out for you already nine of cups let's see what else comes through for you aquarius what is the energy here for aquarius let's see eight of wands what's the energy here for aquarius dealing with their person how does aquarius feel about this person thank you all right, so you got the Magician paired with the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Star card, which is your energy showing up in the reading, paired with the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck for you, Aquarius, is the Ten of Pentacles paired with the Five of Swords. So let's get into this reading and see what's going on between you and this person. So your person's overall energy is the Fool card, the Judgment card with the page.
page of cups this is someone who's coming into a decision to make some type of offer okay the page of cups represents offers it represents someone that could be a little bit immature a little bit childish with this offer but it's someone here who feels like they need to express something in some way shape or form you could have been waiting for this offer for quite some time Aquarius but this is someone here who's coming into this energy and feeling like they need to express something with you the page of cups energy represents romance or romantic proposals some type of message of some sort that this person wants to express towards you in love and I love that it's about this person taking some type of chance or some type of new leap of faith here when it comes to the situation so when it comes to your person's current feelings they have the seven of swords paired with the queen of cups this is someone ready to express their emotions so if this person's been shying away or hiding their feelings or their emotions for you this is someone here who is now ready to open up and express whatever it is that they've been hiding for some of you here this just means that there's some secrets that this person is ready to express with you or some secrets that's ready to come to light here in this situation with you paired with this queen of cups so i strongly believe this person is now coming into an energy of feeling like they need to express something with you maybe something that they've been holding back maybe it's something here that you've confronted them about maybe it's something that they've got caught on and now they're ready to open up and express whatever it is that they find to be what has been holding them back this whole time so this is the energy that i'm getting with the seven of swords it could have been some deceitful energy it could have been some type of lie some type of manipulation mind game some cheating whatever the case may be but this is someone here who's ready to open up and release that energy and actually express these things with you here with this queen of cups energy okay now let's go into their intentions or how they feel about this connection with you so they have the four of wands with the king of pentacles so this is someone here who wants long term longevity with you so i do feel like whoever this person is aquarius they're coming in to offer you some type of commitment maybe even offering to come back home that's what this energy here represents the four of wands with the king of pentacles the king of pentacles represents commitment someone here who's looking for something consistent or stability in a situation so i do believe this is someone here who's wanting this with you with this four of wands energy which can represent homecoming someone returning home to you for some of you you could have been married to this person for some of you this person could be reaching out offering you marriage in some way shape or form but overall this is about the home front and i feel like this is someone who's wanting to offer stability to you or wanting to come home and be in some type of committed situation with you and offer you some type of new beginning of some sort here okay and keep in mind this is not everyone's story but this is definitely how this person is feeling now as far as what actions they're going to take towards you or the outcome of the situation i feel like things is going to change okay so you have the two of swords with the wheel of fortune the two of swords represents no communication or someone who's unwilling to compromise in a situation but whenever it's paired with a major arcana like the wheel of fortune it's telling me that things is going to change in the situation between you and this person or something is going to change in this person's mindset as far as not wanting to communicate anymore okay so this is someone who's willing or now in an energy where they're making that decision to compromise or they're making that decision to now want to open up and communicate some things with you here is what i'm feeling so far on your person's side of things i'm getting water energy so pisces cancer scorpio could also be an earth sign towards virgo or a capricorn now on your side of things aquarius your overall energy is the five of swords with the ten of pentacles i feel like this person played games with you and it could be surrounding stability and commitment maybe lied to you and told you they were going to offer you you know the moon the sun the stars you know this happy home with the white picket fence you know things of that nature something to do with the home front here is, is what i feel this person may have manipulated you about and made you feel some type of way so or maybe even lied about having a family who knows in this situation but this is what this energy represents with the ten of pentacles for some of you here they could have lied about their financial situation okay maybe lied and said that they had all of these things going for them when in reality they didn't so this is what this overall energy and i can understand why you probably are feeling like there's some type of mistrust for this person in some way shape or form and needing to stand in your strength with this um sword standing in the ground here okay so let's see what else is going on with you aquarius so your current energy 
energy is the nine of cups with the eight of wands this is about your energy aquarius about being happy and overall some sort of communication of some sort that you could be hoping for wishing for praying for manifesting and maybe hoping for this communication to come into place for you in some way shape or form for some of you you may have already heard from this person with your current energy being the nine of cups and the eight of wands it just means things is coming in fast for you or there's some type of rush or communication or something here that you strongly desire is now being manifested or has already taken place here for you so for some of you i strongly believe manifestation energy is surrounding you very heavily and it's telling me these desires are now coming to fruition for you here with this nine of cups and eight of wands now as far as your intentions or at least how you feel about this connection in this person i feel like you're still connecting with this person in one way shape or form aquarius even though you may be feeling like you know you don't know if you need to give up on this situation or continuously move forward with waiting for this person to reach out or maybe even continue to entertain the situation if you're still currently in this relationship with this person and just feeling things out i strongly feel like you're manifesting heavily or you're wanting this person to communicate with you their desires and be on that same page with you one way or another here with this knight of pentacles i feel like whatever you're manifesting in this situation may not be coming as fast as you want it to come aquarius but i do believe this is what you're wanting you're manifesting loyalty stability you're manifesting devotion commitment compassion you're manifesting something long term i feel like you're manifesting something long term as far as longevity in this situation here as you can see the magician energy can also represent someone here who is you know taking initiative in some way shape or form and i feel like this is what you're wanting you're wanting this person to express their desires desires towards you but also take initiative in this situation with you is what i feel at the end of the day let's dive a little bit deeper into your reading all right so last but not least we have the outcome that you want in the situation so we have the star and the six of cups there's a lot of hopeful energy surrounding you aquarius so i do believe you're hopeful for reconciliation here in this situation i also feel like you're hopeful that you know things will play itself out in your favor here when it comes to this person i feel like there's history here between you and this person um, that you are connecting with the star card energy represents someone who is hopeful someone who is you know seeking some type of spiritual guidance when it comes to manifesting someone back into their lives with the six of cups i believe you and this person were very good friends here whoever you are in the collective and i feel like this bond is something here that is maybe a little bit hard for you to let go of here because i see you here still tied in some way and seeking some type of guidance or maybe even healing for some of you from this past energy but i do believe this is something you're wanting to manifest or you're hopeful that will return back to you so let's see what energies come through for your person and see what comes through for you what is the energy here for aquarius dealing with your person what is the person aquarius has on their mind's energy what is the energy of the person aquarius has on their mind what is the energy of the person Aquarius has on their mind? Let's see. Show me the energy of the person Aquarius has on their mind. Thank you. Yeah, see, it says this person appreciates you. So I feel like this person's going through some type of awakening. Yeah, I feel like you guys are separated in some way, shape, or form, or maybe not communicating the way that you were supposed to or that you would want. But it's telling me this person's coming into an energy of, you know, regret or maybe even an energy of just appreciating all that you've done. So you may be getting some type of phone call, message, or text from this person just expressing their desires as far as like how they feel about you and what you've done for them and maybe even how sorry they are and how much they really do appreciate you so this person may be going through some type of life lesson or some type of flow here that's making them feel more appreciative of what they had when you were around here around them Aquarius is what I feel okay so let's see what the energy is surrounding you Aquarius what is in the energy of Aquarius thank you 
All right, so we have vibration. So your energy, Aquarius, is shifting, and I feel like you're raising your vibration with positivity. And look at that, the bottom of the deck is healing. I feel like a lot of you here are healing from this energy that may have made you feel stagnant or made you feel stuck in some way, shape, or form, and maybe even trying to move forward from it, even though you are manifesting this energy back into your life, believe it or not. This energy is telling you that you are what you attract. And I feel like you are healing, and because you're healing and you're in this energy, now this vibrational energy is coming back in towards you. So just be very mindful of that. Um, at times, Aquarius, when you raise your vibration, you know, and you actually call back all your power, you call back all of that energy that you have put out into someone else. Sometimes you may find that person creeping right back towards you because they can feel your energy pulling away from them. And I feel like that is exactly what is taking place here. And I feel like this is why this person is going to be reaching out to you. Something that you have manifested or you strongly desired here but it's going to be up to you Aquarius if you want to move forward with this person you know for some of you this relationship could have been an abusive relationship with the five of swords energy so I just want to throw that out there you know um, don't feel like you're obligated to be with someone that is you know misusing your love or misusing your trust in any way shape or form okay so let's go ahead and get some more messages for you in this reading let's get some mutual energies and see what comes through what's the message for Aquarius What's the message you have for Aquarius dealing with this person? What's the message you have for Aquarius dealing with this person? What's the energy? Thank you. Okay, so we have the attraction card coming through. So it's telling me here there's a strong attraction that you have for this person or that you both have for each, each other. So there's chemistry here along with a strong attraction. Just be mindful. Sometimes you don't want to be in a relationship where attraction is the only thing that is keeping a relationship going. There has to be some underlying foundation or layers here that is keeping the relationship together and there it is again separation so this is coming through twice in the reading so it's telling me here that you guys are separated but time apart has definitely awakened someone in this situation between the two of you to realize what they had it's almost as if this person realizes what they had after it's gone all right we also have keep an open mind okay the person that you um consider your soulmate may be different from them you're different may differ from your usual type and expectation here is what this message is so i do believe this is about you keeping an open mind in the situation when it comes to this person all right and then we also have here religious factors i believe this person i believe that message was more so for this person as far as like them keeping an open mind you know when it comes to this situation maybe having to go back to the drawing board as far as realizing what they had now that it's gone we also have here true love and religious factors. So it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And then we have the true love card, which is the Empress energy for me. And the religious factors card is the Hierophant card. So I do believe that this path that you guys are on, or at least this separation that has taken place here between you and this person, is causing this person to realize that they want to be with you again. Or causing this person to realize that you are indeed a true love for them or a soulmate in some way shape or form for them and this person's now wanting to come back into this energy um to want to express this with you and hoping that you're going to take this leap of faith with them and i also believe that this person has been separated for you for quite some time here aquarius but this is someone who's wanting to come back into your good graces and that's only if you would have them so keep that in mind at the end of the day all right so let's get some more messages between you and this person i want to use this deck and see what's going on oh actually i want to use i'm being called to use this one what is the energy here between aquarius and the person that they have on their mind what is the energy here let's see i feel like divine timing is now between you and this person let's see what's the energy here thank you all right, so we have indestructible and everlasting love surviving and all you will stay together. So this is the energy that I'm getting here. It's almost like a love between two souls who separated for whatever reason, you know, that is coming back together again. It's like a love that 
you know, like it says, is indestructible in some way, shape, or form. There's a strong bond here. Then we have the inquirer energy coming through. It says you are their number one dominating the situation. Your person is choosing you. And this is what I'm feeling. It's almost as if this person is now coming into this energy. You see, we have the true love card. You know, like you are the person that this person desires at the end of the day and realizing you are it for them. All right. Like maybe this person wasn't keeping an open mind before when it came to this connection with you. But I feel like this person is now coming into this energy and realizing that you guys have a strong bond together. We also have the siren. All right. This energy is about destructive behavior, playing with fire, hard to resist, home wrecker. So for some of you, OK, could have been a third party in this situation. We call that the siren. This is someone here that could have drawn a wedge between you and your person okay or your person was out there playing with fire like it says you know and just in some destructive behavior with this person at the end of the day and i feel like this person is choosing you after realizing this person's not it give me one more card thank you we have in the dark don't know what's going on feeling lost fear of the unknown so this person may be feeling like they're in the dark when it comes to you aquarius maybe not knowing what your next move is going to be or how to maneuver in the situation with you this person could be feeling in the dark this could be also be your energy but one or the two of you are feeling like you're left out in the dark not knowing what's going on with the other person at the end of the day you know and feeling maybe some type of loss when it comes to that situation between the two of you at the end of the day okay so let's go ahead and get some more messages and see let's see what your person would say to you if they could i just saw playing hard to get so someone in this connection is playing hard to get um, with the other person, all right? Let's see. What's the energy here for Aquarius? What's the message? Thank you. We have, I should have fought for you is what's coming through here. And look at that, playing hard to get is showing up again. So someone's playing hard to get, but this person's now feeling like they should have fought for you. They should have done more. You know, this person feels like they didn't do enough to keep you at the end of the day. And that's what that five of swords can represent. You know, someone here who's giving up. Then we have the marriage card coming through here again, sensing that energy very strongly in the reading. So for some of you, you could be separated from this person and married to this person. We also have searching partner's phone. So for some of you here, you could have found out something here in your partner's phone here that shouldn't have been in your partner's phone. We also have here, I know how much I hurt you. So this person's coming into a realization of their faults, okay? Maybe realizing that they hurt you in this situation with their actions and now feeling some type of regret and now wanting to come in and appreciate you or show you that they appreciate you and maybe show you that they should have fought for you here if they didn't fight for you before is what I feel here, okay? For some of you here, this person's coming into offer commitment for some of you here you're married to this person but this person wants to work things out with you now is what i feel okay so let's see what energies come through in this reading what's the energy showing up in this reading for aquarius and their person give me three cards what's the energy showing up in this reading for aquarius and this their person let's see Thank you. We have Taurus energy coming through in the reading. We also had Capricorn that fell out. So very strongly Earth energy. Let's see. And then we have Scorpio. So we have Taurus, Capricorn, and Scorpio coming through very strongly in the reading here um, is what I feel. Okay. Let's go ahead and close out with your overall advice in this reading. What is the advice you have for Aquarius dealing with this person? What is the advice you have for Aquarius dealing with this person? Okay, we have treat your body like the palace it is. So this is about taking care of you, Aquarius, at the end of the day, okay? No longer, you know, worried about what others think of you, but taking care of you, your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit, you know, and looking into the mirror every day and telling yourself how beautiful or how handsome you are. You don't need anyone's validation to feel loved or appreciated at the end of the day. It all comes from within at the end of the day, Aquarius. So I do believe your spirit angels is wanting you to know now is the time to love on you and truly, truly focus on what makes you you happy at the end of the day and not so much focused on what your person may think about you or maybe even how your person is treating you but putting that focus into yourself all right my stars i love you guys to the moon and back till next time bye i guess you're back
Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply. 